Hi guys, I received a question from uh, Alfredo about the georeferencing uh, property corners to uh, coordinate system. So first of all, you want to take a quick peek at the, at the drawing and uh, obviously this is a beautiful drawing. You have here your true north, your plant north, you have some northings, eastings here and so on. Uh, one thing I always go, I'll take a look at notes and this all dimensions are fit unless noted otherwise. I suspect it's US survey feed. Uh, so we'll go by that if I'm wrong or further just uh, need to open a different template. So as you can see I have opened the template uh, US survey foot and I have imported the page number one of your drawing. What I'm gonna do right now it's gonna right click and hit geo reference vector PDF image. This will bring an image and it's gonna ask me for some clipping information which I may or may not uh, choose to do. I won't. Uh, here it's asking me for a pixel. Now I zoom into this corner, property corner, um, but as you can see there is uh, just a little bit too much of vector information. So you might, since you have the coordinates of all these buildings or pads or whatever that is, um, you might want to choose to go to something which is really straightforward, right? So you have uh, uh, one is for the end of the arrow and one is for the line. And <clears throat> type in your north and easting. Uh, again, that depends on how is your, your template uh, set up. I believe by default US survey feed is uh, northing, easting and elevation, okay? So I'm gonna type in northing first, 8663.750, comma, uh, 11300.750. And then I'm gonna go to, you see, and it's just gonna show me exactly. And at this, uh, I'm just gonna pick the property corner. I'm just gonna go, okay, this looks about the right one. And the same idea, first northing, 8497.00, comma, 1217. Um, so as you can see, these are the coordinates, right? So these are the two points, 100 feet. I'm gonna hit uh, register and let's see what's that what's gonna happen. As you can see, the um, drawing rotated itself to the plant north, which is probably these are the plant coordinates. Uh, so this is uh, how it's supposed to be in proper coordinates. I want to do a quick check here on the there we have a scale. So let's go from uh, this point uh, plus or minus to zero, so that should equal to 50 feet. I'm uh, 49.988, so that's 0 0.12 of a foot. So, I don't know, 15 mils, uh, I would call it good. Again, I was snapping just by eye. So, you have all that, the next step would be, you know, bring in the vector PDF and start uh, planting these points in and uh, uh, going from, you know, concrete pave, 10 inch thick, uh, put in some, uh, some uh, structure if needed be. But this is a nice one because it gives you all the coordinates uh, of the, you know, pads and everything. So you can basically type those in and get those. Um, uh, done real quickly right so if you go to do uh, like let's say a rectangle right and uh, corner one you can do the same thing first uh, input the northing 866 3.750 uh, uh, comma uh, 11300750 uh, I pick the same thing right and you see it's already I mistyped it, 8663 Oh, I forgot here, uh, 750. 750, it should snap to that corner, yeah. And then go there and do the same thing, 87, 
0.9.250, comma, 1127.0. 250 and hit OK. I have the pad there already, so I, I could have uh, done uh, if you have the elevation of the pad, right? I could have done the elevation, or I can just add it into my properties to put it in there. Uh, and uh, yeah, start modeling the site uh, beautifully. Hopefully this will help you out, Alfredo. Uh, if any more questions, give me a shout. I uh, can model that for you if needed to. And yeah, for everybody else, hope this you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next video.